Protect, or Proactive Detection, is the Promise Safety Framework. It draws on insights from the quantitative work stream and the qualitative research study we have conducted into patient and staff experience of physical intervention. On the Promise journey, we have realized that there are many missed opportunities in the lead-up to incidents. The earlier patients, carers or staff can detect emerging distress, better are the chances to intervene successfully and change the trajectory. The qualitative study reveals that distress draws out individualized repeating patterns. Proactive identification of such patterns provides an opportunity to co-produce novel exits from the spiral of escalating distress. The study also highlighted the increased probability of incidents when various factors overlap. For example, consider a patient whose auditory hallucinations generally worsen in the evening, but the evening shift is poorly staffed. Staff overlook the need for as and when required medication and there is no one-to-one -one time or any engaging activities for patients. One can start to see how a perfect storm brews up in the ensuing chaos of the evening visiting hours. Patient stories from the Promise study bring forth the analogy of a wheel spinning in the mud. The more distressed one gets, the harder they press the accelerator and the faster the wheel spins. But the vehicle does not go anywhere. However, with every revolution of the wheel, it sinks further into the mud. Doing more of the same does not and will not work. One needs to get out of the car, get help, perhaps stick wedges beneath the wheel, and then the car might move forward. However, this is easier said than done. Protect draws on established therapeutic approaches from the realms of cognitive behavior and analytic therapy, mindfulness, dialectical behavior therapy, and mentalization-based approaches. It seeks to uncouple a rapid two-stage trigger response process into a drawn-out five-stage process. This enables patients, professionals, and carers to modulate their responses and change the trajectory of events by identifying exits from established patterns. It is important to emphasize that the safety planning needs to be done proactively when distress levels are low and a journey of shared discovery can be realistically embarked on. Triggers are akin to a car's ignition. An in-depth understanding of what commonly sets the wheel spinning is essential for early detection. The foot on the pedal comes in the form of thoughts that accelerate the spinning wheel as it sinks into the mud by reinforcing unhelpful beliefs or coping strategies. Feelings form the fuel of the car. We are not a bottomless pit of emotional energy, and when distressed, we use our preserves rapidly. The challenge is to help our patients visualize that when one is running low on fuel, extreme caution has to be exercised on how the emotional energy gets burned. If successful, the residual emotional energy can be used to apply the brakes. Sometimes they are needed to bring the car to a complete halt, and at other times, they ensure that the car is traveling at an appropriate speed. Slowing the wheel down is a prerequisite to an alternative response. In fact, to get the best out of Protect, one needs to put the car into reverse. So starting from recent distress-laden adverse responses, staff and patients backtrack through opportunities for modulation, alternative feelings and thoughts, right through to triggers. So when there is a fire, we might find that there was some fuel in the form of paper in a bin. Unfortunately, on it landed a cigarette butt that provided the heat to set it alight, and then oxygen kept the fire going. The fire safety training staff undergo is meant to prevent such incidents from happening. Organizing the many causal factors into a coherent patient-held, individualized safety plan will enable proactive prediction and mitigation of emerging fires. The PROTECT training module enables staff to engage patients and carers on a journey of ask and tell. Together, they learn how to uncouple triggers from responses and reframe their thoughts and feelings, making way for proactive detection. After all, chance favors the prepared mind. The protective wedge of PROTECT creates the framework for retrospective evaluation of antecedents to specific incidents. In a non-judgmental, supportive fashion, together, will look back to look ahead. So for people who might find their wheels stuck in mud, Protect prospectively provides an alternative route. If you would like further information, do get in touch through promise at cpft.nhs.uk. Thank you.